Hey, I'm John Hank, and I'm going to talk about NetBackup VX Update Automated Client and Server Upgrades. The first step to getting the update done is once you see the updates out there, you can go to Download Center, uh, you log in, and you can grab the packages you need. The VX Update packages end in .sga, and they have everything you need for both uh, client and server upgrades. So you simply check that, and you go to do the download. So the download you can run from uh, your machine, and then once you get that downloaded, you transfer those packages to the primary server. On that particular server, all you need to do is find that package, I've got it right here in my box, and I'm going to now register it with the repository. Once a package is registered with a repository, I can go and set up a deployment policy. The deployment policy is it's pretty straightforward. It's a policy you set up um, to do this deployment. It, it, it has different types you can do. You can do a server type. You can do a client type. Uh, you assign it for you know the appropriate package you have there. Uh, in in this case, I'm going through and setting up this server policy. I throw a couple servers in there. You know, so notice one of them's already updated, so it's just going to skip that one. But once you've done that, um, I've done a server policy. The next one is I'm going to do another deployment for clients because you know in this case I I just got a, a smaller setup. I just got a client update, but somebody might have hundreds and hundreds of clients to update. Uh, this is great because you can take this policy, you can keep it around, you can change the package you want to use. Um, and in this case, I'm going to add this guy in here, and uh, you can see there's other options of how many jobs you want to run. With either one of those, once you have that set up, the next step is to create a schedule. The schedule has three main types. There's going to be the first type, which is going to be a pre-check. The pre-check is there to make sure that the upgrade is going to work. This means it's going to make sure that there aren't any uh, configuration issues or any uh, you know, certificate issues or any sort of problems that would cause the upgrade to fail. The next step is it's going to do the stage, right? Is this is the you know when it's going to go over and copy the update onto the machine. So you can you can really break this down. Like maybe I want the pre-check to start during the week and then on uh, staging can start Friday sometime Friday afternoon. I don't know, but when I actually do the install, let's say we only want that to happen on the weekend. And that's how you set up a deployment policy. But say you just want to go in and update things on demand. Well, you can do that too. For example, right here, I got a couple media servers I need to update. All I need to do is I can select, I can select as many as I want, and I just do upgrade host. When I do upgrade host, in this case, I'm just going to go right to install. I pick the package I want. I say do an install, and you can see here um, the same sort of options you saw um, for the, the deployment policies. I click OK. It's going to ask for confirmation, and there you go. That's going to get that up and running, and my installs are going to go start running on those servers. And that's it. That's all I had to do is upgrade my servers. So let's go back and look at what happens when these actually run. So here's a, this is a client job running, and the first thing it's going to do is do the pre-check. As you can see in here for the pre-check, uh, it's going out there. This happens just it takes a couple seconds to run, and it just goes out and it makes sure that there's not going to be any critical issues that are going to cause uh, the upgrade to fail. That means that this is great because we don't spend time copying things over or anything like that for no reason. The next step is the staging, right? Staging takes a few more seconds. Um, it's just basically going to go through and uh, make sure once again does the make sure does the basic checks, make sure we're on a good machine. It's the actual machine we're supposed to be going to. Delivers the package so that it's there so that it can get deployed. And finally, the next step is the actual install. Now this will take a little more time, but not very much. Uh, this does, uh, again, make sure that uh, it's ready to go, make sure it's on the right machine, validates the package is there, and it's the correct package. Um, and then it runs the in install process. So this does everything from terminating the you know, current processes that are running to making sure that the CA certificate is registered. Uh, we, of course, we use native packages for this deployment, so we you know, go through the process of registering, registering those and getting them deployed with the OS, and then we uh, will finalize the process. The um, overall upgrade will go through, uh, do all that, and of course, when it gets all done, make sure that all the processes start up again, and we'll return to success once it has validated that um, it was able to bring everything down, update what needs to be updated, and then uh, start it all back up again. So this, this, this particular client is ready to get to go. You'd see the exact same thing in, for example, a server install. Yeah, so this job is all done. Uh, you know, and from a setup perspective, it was pretty straightforward. And as far as when it actually got done, I didn't have to be here. I could have done this in the middle of the night. All I got to do is go over here, 
check my box, it's 8.3. I'm going to run a refresh. Now it's 9.0. Have it completely automatically. My clients got updated. My servers get updated. Uh, this is really a great way to push those updates out without having any headaches, um, without any big difficulties. It's really fantastic. It makes it really easy to do. This is John Hank. It's been great talking to you about how you can use VX Update to update your servers and clients with a super easy policy-driven updates.